Hi, this is Hunter from Black Valve Media, and today we're gonna check out the 58 millimeter Lomography um, Variable Bokeh Control Fixed Aperture Lens. And this thing's really awesome. It has a really unique look. And um, you can dial in the bokeh by changing from a value between one and seven. So we did a little test today to kind of show you the differences in that range um, to see kind of what the background does. Um, what's interesting about it is as you change that value, um, your focus is shifting. So it's not something you can change on the fly um, as far as video goes. Um, and it's a little funny with the focus because it has this little tiny uh, wheel instead of a standard uh, barrel focus. So kind of a fun and interesting lens to, to check out. And it, it, it yields a really cool image. We shot everything on a Red Dragon. It's a Scarlet. Uh, it's 5K, 800 ISO. 24 frames per second. So now we're gonna show you this lens at the seven different bokeh control values. And so you can kind of see the difference between seven and one, which was more than I thought actually. Um, one is is very subtle, but it's, you know, the effect is there. And then seven being very extreme and heavy and kind of forces you to frame centered. So without further ado, check that out. So this kind of shows you the different um, looks that you can get out of this lens and, and kind of the difference even between one value to the next. So now I'm gonna kind of show you a little more about what you know we did to capture that and kind of our process and how, how we do it. So we recently got a really awesome hydraulic arm dolly. So I just spent the last couple months kind of restoring this thing and this was like one of the first shoots we got to try it out on. So it was cool to take it out and um, get caught in the rain doing so, but um, it's, it's a really powerful thing and being able to make slight adjustments on the fly to go up and down smoothly um, and being able to crab dolly is, is super awesome. It's kind of a dream. So one thing with this lens is um, there's no threading on the front. So you can't, there's no standardized threading. Um, there's actually no threading on the very front. You can actually unscrew this front barrel and there's some threading there, but it's inverse to what our filters are used to. There's some, um, you know, male threads here, and this has female thread, but we're usually used to the opposite. Um, there is some threading here on uh, this smaller element, but then you kind of expose the innards of the lens by taking this front uh, hood off. So a little trick that I've done before with um, some of the anamorphic um, elements that I've used in the past is to get, I 3D printed this ring and it was perfectly sized for the anamorphic on my head, but I was a little, um, this lens is a little undersized on it. So I just put a little bit of tape. It's got three set screws that um, secure it on there. And then it's just a super glued 77 millimeter uh, ring here. I was able to put on a variable ND. So our outdoor shots we could have um, come down a few stops um, due to the highlight outdoors. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos with this lens, just hit that like button and we'll be happy to do it. Thanks a lot.